I just got back from the post office and I got a package in the mail. We're going to do an unboxing here. Awful cold today. I'm not going to be working on Uncle Dorkle today. Uh, wiring and so forth. It's just too damn cold. Yep. And there's no sun, so it makes it even worse. But I am going to do an unboxing video. Now, Tom of Antique Radio and TV, one of my viewers and subscribers, has been watching the Uncle Dorkle rebuilding project and um, he says he's going to send me a 24 pin uh, plug and jack which is actually a cinch jones connector and i keep calling them cannon connectors but uh, i think they're called cinch jones anyways it's perfect he sent me uh, an email picture of it and it's perfect for what i need and I asked him if he didn't mind me doing an unboxing video of it, and he says he didn't mind. So we're going to set this camera down. It's uh, from Tom, Antique Radio and TV. He's in Washington State. And um, as you can see, he got a humongous uh, Uncle Dorkle stamp here. And um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to open this up so let's get this open all right this is about as good as i can get you into camera here uh first thing we always do is try to save the uh the dorkle stamps without tearing them and dorkle stamps have adhesive only on the very edges so, I can remove them quite nicely without destroying them. All right, isn't that a beauty? Thank you, Tom, for putting on this Uncle Dorkle stamp for me. I'm going to put it under a piece of wood here so I don't, I don't have any breeze right now blowing but uh, let's get the box open here I'll make sure I'm still in camera Nice little box. Oh, wrapped up in Harbor Freight wrapping paper here. Oh yes, perfect. Now as you can plainly see, this is a, um, these are the type of plugs that I can open it here. I must be getting weak in my old age. Okay. Now, wow, what? That's perfect because I can definitely see the connections on that, and that'll definitely take that cable that I got. All right, so it's 24 pins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 24. That's round one here. That can be the ground pin, the common negative. And then I can choose two other pins or one other pin. I'm going to do I double the wires, as I said. I'm going to double the... Uh, common negative and I'm going to double the positive going up the cord 
so that'll still leave me plenty of conductors to use. Now, if I want to add more, I'm going to run. I'm going to connect all 12 wires to this. So I'm going to have wires coming out of this end that goes. This goes to the Dorkel body. I'm going to have wires coming out of here that are not going to be going anywhere, but they'll be there in case I want to add more features to him. Uh, I'm running out of space in the back of Dorkel. I've done some work on it the last few days, but it's not on video, but um, I will give you an update on that. So, this is perfect. I, I love these. I love these connectors. These are about the best things they ever made. You know, the, uh, the white ones, the Molex, I don't like them. I never could work with uh, slipping in the connectors and everything. There's a special tool you need to pull them in and out. I never liked them, you know. I know they use them in computers a lot, and that's not a problem if they got the wires already on them. But I didn't have any, so uh, this is perfect. Thank you very much, Tom. Now, in addition to that, it looks to me like he sent me a Harbor Freight. A Harbor Freight 20% um, off coupon. Veterans Day. But thank you very much, Tom. Thank you. He also sent me... Oh! Buzz 1151. Metro Golden Mayer. Metro Golden Mayer. That's Dick Laugh Lockett. If you, in case you didn't know who that is, that's Dick Laugh Lockett. And uh, from what um, Tom has told me, uh, Tom don't live too far away from Buzz 1151. So they're almost neighbors. Thank you very much. And. Um, Thank you, Buzz, for sending this here. Let me see. I'm, gonna... I'm part of the family, too. You better believe you are there, Dickel. This is a wonderful letter that Tom uh, sent me, and I'm going to read, um, try to read, read it to you here. Uh, Dear Bill, I just wanted to say thanks for all the years of entertainment and information you have brought to all of us. This is just a small token of appreciation for all that you have given to us, your fans. Even though you don't know me from squat, I still consider you a dear friend. You are a kind man and a great father as well. I wish we have known your wife, but I am sure you're a great husband. I found you years ago when I was working looking for videos for my Motorola VT71 black and white 7 inch TV from 1947 when I, which I was restoring. Well I'm still with you from that time to present. Thanks again and may I be the first to wish you and your family, yes even Uncle Dorkle and Hackbar, a very Merry Christmas. Well it's not even Thanksgiving yet. <laughs> Tom, Antique Radio and Television. Oh, yeah, and get to work. <laughs> that is wonderful. Thank you very much. I have some real good friends out there and good fans. And uh, Tom refuses to take any money from this. He don't even want to hear about it. So I, I won't bring that up anymore. But I don't know what to say, guys. I, I just appreciate it. Thank you so much. I will get to work. Yes, get to work. Well... I will. When it warms up a little bit, it's pretty cold out there, cloudy. If there was sun, it would be a, a little more bearable. And my fingers don't work too well when they're cold. Um, I can bring the, um, the heavy cord, the 10 foot 12 conductor wire in the house, and the male portion of that plug, and wire that up, and solder that up on the kitchen table, but I won't be able to do the other end in the kitchen table. I can't bring Uncle Dorkle and bring him in the house. It's, it's way too big for the kitchen. 
and uh, besides that he'll hit the chandelier up overhead of the kitchen uh, over that kitchen table so um, I'm gonna have to wait till it gets warm out here and the weather is getting colder and colder and colder each day we're very lucky because the last few years we've had snow at this time of the year because we've been getting very early winters this is the first year I can say we have not gotten any snow yet at this stage of the game and I'm not looking forward to getting it either but anyways I want to thank you there Tom I appreciate it, and um, I don't know what to tell you. I, <laughs> it looks to me like we're going to be getting this project um, going here, and it, like I say, it's going to depend on the weather. And if it, I get some more, you know, three or four more warm days, comfortable working days, um, I might be able to get this done. But there's a lot of work on the remote control itself that I have to do, a lot of wiring at that end. Um, I made some, I did some wiring and I put another board in there and I put the motor speed controller circuit board in uh, Dorkle, but it's, I did not video it. As I had said, I wasn't going to video every step of it, but I am going to show you in a future video what I did, but not today. So I want to thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed the unboxing video and Thank you again, Tom, of Antique Radio and Television. I appreciate it. I appreciate all that everybody's doing in the support of this project. It makes it, as I said before, it makes it all worthwhile. If people didn't enjoy this, I would not have the incentive to even build anything like this. It's people like you that make me want to do this. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. And have a good day, everybody.